I don't know if you agree with me, let me know, but more than anything else, this situation is just so weird, right? Isn't that the word that just keeps coming up that we're just like living a sci-fi thriller and it turns out that fact is stranger than fiction, right? I mean, that's the reality. So many of the traditional differences among us are disappearing, why? Because we're all in the same bucket, stuck in the house, sharing fears, sharing worries about providing and wellness and leadership, feelings of doubt. Can this really be as daunting as everyone seems to think now? Well, on that question, let me serve as confirmation of the reality, okay? You can get this. Now, unlike me, you will not have the added oddity of watching in real time as your brother addresses the nation and discusses the fact that you have just caught the virus. My brother Chris uh, is positive for coronavirus, found out this morning. The, uh, now, uh, he is going to be fine. He's uh, young, in good shape, uh, strong, not as strong as he thinks, but uh, he will be fine. And now he's quarantined in the basement, but it's funny as heck. He says to me, uh, even the dogs won't come downstairs, he says. <laughs> so, uh, but he is concerned about his wife and his kids. People wind up exposing you, and then they find out they're positive a couple of days later. It's my family. It's your family. It's all of our families. And this virus is that insidious. Look, uh, let's just be clear about something. Captain Banana Hands is right, it is all of us, but it is literally me, okay? Uh, and I know he was trying to be comforting to the rest of you. Hearing him talk to me about that way, about me, made me very worried about what the road ahead could be. I started calling all these doctors after that. I was like, this is not a good indication of my future. And luckily what's going on is what's going on with everybody. Man, are we scared when it's someone we know and we love. He raised me. Of course, it's gonna freak him out. And I don't want to be a cautionary tale, but I am fighting something that we don't really understand. And you do not want to be in that position. No one can really give me anything good to do about it. It's, it's really, I've never seen anything like that before where there's like nothing you can do. The tightness of my chest is tough to account for. Is it the virus or is it the choking concern of my inability to do what matters most, which is the same thing for you, to care for my family? Look what I've done. Look what I am now. I can't help. I, I can't be there. I can't even hold them. For how long? Weeks? Now look, it's no longer an opinion. One of the only things we know for sure is that staying home is our best, if not our only chance of avoiding long-term suffering. What else do you need to hear? Even Trump gets that now. Look, I am honestly happy that it is me. Better than you, better than my family. God forbid. I'm waiting for that information and that will take me way lower than any virus ever could. And I hope so strongly for your family and for you. I mean that. And I hope you feel that as well. We have to fight for one another in a way that we really never have here before. And that is a daunting challenge, but it's an exciting one as well. It is time to walk the walk. I'm going to be in the basement in self-quarantine. Big deal. Of course, emotionally, it's hard for me. But to reduce the strain on our angels, on those front lines, like you met tonight, Carly, so that we don't expose other people, we don't create more caseload, more risk to her to go home to her family with how long she's gonna have to do this, weeks and months. Do what we need to do to remind everyone of who we are at our best. And that is the only reality that we need to motivate us right now, not numbers. Forget the numbers. Why? We're playing catch up. They can only jump exponentially. They can only be scary. The only number that I argue matters is one, you, me. What do you choose to do? To do and not to do, right? You know the phrase to borrow from Shakespeare a little bit. It's not the question, it is the answer. The only good news is they're telling us it's working. Staying away works. Let the fact that I'm doing the show and I'm doing okay be a comfort, that the numbers are not everything. Most of us are gonna be fine. Hopefully it stays that way for me. But also, let me take away any illusion that you're not bigger, you know, you're too big for this. If I can get it, you can get it, all right? Remember, 
The good news is we are our best solution. Together as ever as one. We know what to do to make this easier on all of us. We just have to do it. A lot of news. CNN tonight, D. Lemon on top of all of it, as always.